Apple, you see what happens when you don't update the Mac Mini, which is what I really wanted out of WWDC, but we're not gonna talk about that today. We'll talk about that in a future video. You make me buy things like this, the iPad Air. Do I need it? Absolutely not. But do I want it? You betcha. What up everybody? How you doing today? My name is David Franco and welcome back to my main channel. I feel like I gotta say that every time now because I do have a gaming channel. Check it out right below if you're curious. I appreciate it. Also, I do have a TikTok, a personal TikTok, a flipping profit TikTok, and a gaming TikTok. But uh, yeah, you know what? I'll just I'll just link my personal TikTok and my flipping profit TikTok. Check them out right below. Anyway, guys, WWDC, WWDC 2022 was a lot of fun. Excellent event in my opinion. Very very solid. Nothing exactly like blew my mind, uh, but something did stand out. And that's the fact that Apple, God, the sun just changed big time. Apologies. Um, Apple did not announce a new Mac Mini. Now, was I expecting one? Eh, I don't know, because I was reading rumors literally an hour or two before the keynote stating that the newest leak suggests that the Mac Mini is going to be updated in 2023, which sucks. Uh, so it, it, is, it is what it is, because I really, really want to get back into my office. And for those who ask me every week or so, why don't I just go to Mac Studio? Guys, I just can't justify the, the, the cost of a Mac Studio. I'm not a huge creator these days. I mean, I love, I love making videos. I love working on websites and clientele work and all that stuff, but I don't need a Mac Studio. And that's why I want a Mac Mini. The Mac Mini is an extremely capable miniature desktop that I can connect to pretty much like virtually any display I want. Um, so until Apple updates the Mac Mini, I figured, you know what? I'm going to treat myself to something new. This just came out, what, a month or two ago? The iPad Air, fifth generation. I did get it in space gray at 256 gigabytes storage, guys. 64 gigs for me is just not enough. Could I get by? Of course, but I don't, I don't want to be careful. Now, I do want to get the obvious out of the way. As much as I paid for this, I, I could have literally paid one to 150 more for the 11 inch iPad Pro. And iPad Pro is definitely a better deal because you're getting ProMotion, you're getting just an overall better tablet with better speakers, all that stuff with less storage, but obviously I can upgrade that. But by the time I do that, I'm spending more money. And I just didn't feel right buying something that wasn't updated in a long time. So with that said, there's a good chance that the iPad Pro will be updated sometime in the fall. And if not the fall, then definitely early 2023. Uh, so until then, I just wanted to buy something new from Apple. And this is brand new, guys. Now, fun fact, and then I promise I'll get to the actual unboxing. This is just what I do. I just love to talk. This was backordered on apple.com until late June. And as of this recording, it's only June 9th. So I got this from Best Buy, guys. I ordered this two days ago and it came already. So. Fun little fact for you slash tip. If you want the newest iPad Air sooner rather than later, skip the Apple roots and just order from somewhere like Best Buy. There is a really, really good chance they have your model in stock. So treat yourself. Okay, here we go. Opening up the fifth generation iPad Air. And I did love the 12.9 inch iPad Pro, but I got that right around the time where I got my brand new 14 inch MacBook Pro and I love that computer. And I just didn't find myself working on the iPad Pro as much as I should have. So I sold it, you know? I mean, there's no need to keep around all this expensive tech, especially if it means getting your money back, you know? Plus that money can go towards things like this. But the thing is, I really missed having an iPad Air. Like I, I missed that larger iOS experience and there's only so much I can get out of this iPhone 13 Pro. I love this phone. Obviously my favorite iPhone of all time because it gets better and better each year. Uh, but I did miss that larger screen experience. So I got myself the iPad Air. And actually guys, I haven't had an iPad Air in a long time. So here we go. I'm very, very excited. Not gonna lie though, I'm going to severely miss having a ProMotion display. But Apple's always been pretty good at their 60 hertz displays. So in theory, this one should be just fine. And honestly, there's a really good chance I'm gonna sell this in a few months when the next iPad Pro is announced. Gotta say already, I really like the form factor. The 12.9 inch iPad Pro was amazing for on the desk. But for me personally, I think iPads are meant to be used on the go, uh, at least for my own usage. 
So we're gonna save the best for last. As always, you get a designed by Apple in, in California little uh, booklet here. And inside we get instructions. If you don't know how to use your iPad Air, maybe, I don't know. Uh, Apple stickers, you gotta love it. And that's it. We do get a power adapter, something you do not get with the iPhone. But honestly, I'm gonna put this right back in the box because I think I'm just gonna charge it on my desk. My desk has outlets built into the little grommets or whatever they're called. And you do get a USB-C to USB-C cable and that's going right back in the box. So you guys see what I'm doing here? I'm literally not going to open up the accessories because not if, when, there's a really good chance, when I do sell this iPad Air, everything is brand new in the box. Um, so there you go. So we're gonna close this up and likely not open this up for the next few months. So for now, I'll just put this safely in my closet so it's not damaged or anything like that. Why am I having a hard time doing this? There we go, okay, moving on. Now I do have two Apple Pencils. You might ask yourself why. Well, that's a great question, guys. One of these is dead because I kept it inside my 2010 Mazda 3 for a very long time during extremely cold winter temperatures. And I'm pretty sure this is the bad one because it's got some dirt on it and everything. And then I bought a new Apple Pencil when I got myself the 12.9 iPad Pro. I'm sorry about the sun, it's not the best lighting conditions. Again, I'm not really in my office all that much, but I promise Apple when you eventually announce a new Mac Mini, I will be in here and I'll have proper lighting set up. I mean, I actually do have excellent lighting in here, just the sun, you know, the second I decide to press record on my camera, it's just going in and out of clouds. Anyway, in theory, this one shouldn't be dead. I mean, it's dead right now, but it should charge just fine, unlike this one. Because I'm telling you, this Apple Pencil is more than dead. Like, it is deader than dead. There is no reviving this thing. Uh, but obviously, I'm going to keep it. I'm not going to trash it. So anyway, also, I ordered myself a third-party case uh, from Procase, the brand is. Procase right there, and I will link it right below. This is literally like a $10 case, guys. Apple typically wants like 40 or 50 for their cases. And yeah. Build quality wise, they're better, but like $40, $50 for a case when I can get arguably a similar experience for like $40 less, $30 less, why not go that route? And plus, spending only $10 on this is kind of an excuse to get additional cases just like this, but in different colors. And then you got a little foam insert, good times and we have protection on the front and protection on the back and a nice cutout for the camera. Okay, finally. A little nasally today, ladies. The iPad Air, fifth generation, Wi-Fi, 256 gigabytes of storage. M1 processor, by the way. This has an M1 chip in it, guys, which is very, very cool. And I did indeed go for space gray. There it is, very nice. I don't know if I have the creaking problem. Yeah, in case you don't, I, guys don't know, apparently there's some kind of epidemic going on with the iPad Air fifth generation. There is a creaking issue where like the, the um, display apparently isn't even and you can feel bumps and you, if you press it just right, it creaks. Hopefully mine's okay though. Yeah, I don't hear anything. So let's give it a first boot and then I'll let you guys go because I'm going to set this up off camera. You, you guys know what, what, an, what an iPad looks like. There you go. You know, despite it not having mini LED, I gotta say the blacks in a well-lit room, they don't look bad at all. I mean, look at that. Those are some rich blacks. So, very nice. Hello, how you doing? Anyway, guys, they have it. I'm going to set this up off camera. Thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions about the iPad Air, let me know. I am very, very curious to see how I personally feel about this. And if you guys want additional videos on this, let me know because I was a big fan of my 12.9 iPad Pro. That mini LED display blew my freaking mind. Seriously, <laughs> just combine the rich blacks with ProMotion 120 hertz. My God, I am a display freak. I'm always paying attention, you know, to things like that. Um, so it's gonna be very, very interesting going from ProMotion to non-ProMotion, uh, but this is, this is Apple we're talking about. They very rarely disappoint me. 
So I'll let you know how I feel over time. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you're having a great day. Stay safe out there. Don't forget to hug your loved ones and I'll talk to you soon. Peace.